Good afternoon and welcome to the TPM 4 Minute Friday where we show you tips and techniques that will help your everyday tasks. My name is Dana Rice and I am the Civil 3D and InfraWorks Applications Engineer. And today I would like to show you a method for adding a spillway to a detention pond surface. In the drawing that I have open, I have several surfaces, as you can see on tool space. I have a detention pond surface created. Let me right click and select. And you'll see that this detention pond has both a north bay and a south bay. We want to create a spillway connecting these two bays. So what I have already done, I've created a surface named spillway. Uh, draw your eyes over here to the tool space and I'll show you how that surface was created. Okay, This surface named spillway is on a style called triangles. So I have it set up so that, so that only the triangles and the points of the surface will visually sh show up. So that explains the visual style that I have. This surface was created from two feature lines that I had added as break lines. What I did, I drew feature lines uh, connecting the two 170 contours in the North Bay and the South Bay. So I drew a feature line from this point to this point, and then I drew a second feature line from this point to this point. Once those feature lines were created, I created a surface and I added those two feature lines as break lines. Okay, so that explains how I created a spillway surface. As it, you'll see that as I hover, this spillway surface is completely flat and it is at a um, elevation of 170. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste this spillway surface into my detention pond surface. I'm going to do that over here on tool space. So let me expand detention pond surface and expand definition. While I'm here, let me give you just a quick little tip that I've learned over the years. I have developed the habit of only expanding the surface that I am currently working in. You'll notice that I have detention pond surface expanded and its definition expanded. All of my other surfaces in this drawing, which we do have several in here, are closed, minimized. The reason for that is that if I had multiple surfaces open, not even all of them, just a few, you'll see how easy it is to add information to the wrong surface, okay? Very easy to trick your eyes over here. So a little trick that I learned kind of early on in my career is to close up all of the surfaces except for the one that you are currently working with, okay? So what I'm going to do under detention pond surface, under definition, I'm going to come down here to edits, I'm going to right click, I'm going to paste surface. And I'm going to paste the spillway surface onto my detention pond surface. Right away, you'll see that our contours have updated. Okay? So now, the spillway surface, let me put him on a no display style. And that will unobstruct our view of the detention pond surface. So this detention pond surface if I select him, you'll see that he now has a spillway on him. It, the spillway is at a elevation of 170 and it connects the two bays. Let me put him in Object Viewer. And there you have it. Well, thank you for spending a bit of your time with TPM and the 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dana Rice and I hope you have an excellent day.